Hello, hello. Uh, welcome to another Friday crawl. Trouble and Strife's back. It's not just a nickname. Uh, and we're back in uh, one of our favourite towns uh, today, uh, Stamford. We absolutely loved Stamford last time, didn't we? We did. What did you like about Stamford? Old, cobbled streets, good kebab. Good kebab, beautiful pubs. Yeah. I mean, that's obviously the main part of what we do, what we do. <laughs> but yeah, cobbled streets, great kebab. Uh, Stanford Delight was the kebab house. I'm well looking forward to being back in that later. Uh, but we're starting, as per usual, with a little village pub just on about a mile outside Stanford. This one's called the Bertie Arms. Uh, they commented on our Facebook page saying, oh, do come and see us. Uh, and I, I had a click on the, uh, the Facebook and had a look at what the pub looked like. And it looked like this. Just, uh, just look at that. That's... Uh, that's pretty beautiful. I love a, I love a thatched roof uh, on anything, and that is quite exquisite looking. So the Bertie Arms, uh, the, the name is up on this sign up here, not on the front of the pub anywhere, but it is look, the Bertie Arms in this wonderful little village called Uffington, which looks very, very nice. And that is stop one of our day. Just, uh, just wow. So, so you, you know, obviously, I, I said about the uh, the thatched roof being beautiful outside. It's just as beautiful inside. Uh, it's, a, it's an absolute stunner. Uh, the pub. So let me uh, let me take you on a little to the food as well. The food is making me hungry. It smells amazing. There's a roaring fire, so obviously my wife has parked herself in front of that already, as you would expect. Uh, let me take you around here. So yes, uh, parked herself in front of the fire. Some good beers on. Uh, I've gone with uh, a Neem Valley. Look, uh, release the chimps to start my day with. Uh, nice to see Osset down here as well. There's some good bits that I've not seen anywhere before. But this up it's so low. The ceilings and things in here. But just look at the uh, look at the place, and yeah, the food, the food smell. Uh, we just uh, we just had a wander around as well in the kitchen. The food smell coming from from out here is just absolutely exquisite. Just look at that. What a beautiful looking pub in general. The the people that run it are absolutely lovely, and it's just uh, yeah, top notch place to start. So Uffington is the village. Come out, give it a visit. I guarantee you won't be disappointed. An absolutely brilliant place uh, to start the Bertie Arms was. Absolutely stunning throughout. Uh, we're de definitely, definitely, definitely going to have to go back there uh, and try some food because it looks and smells fantastic. Uh, but to make it into Stamford now, so let's see what of Stamford we didn't get done last time, try and get all of those done uh, and revisit some old favourites uh, from before. If you want to see the first Stamford video, it is on the YouTube, so you'll be able to find it quite easily. So our first stop in Stamford is this, the Jolly Brewer. And again, looks uh, looks a very, very nice looking, uh, very, very nice looking pub, that. So it's top two of the day then, uh, first for Stanford and a new one for us is the Jolly Brewer. Right, when you, uh, you sort of bear in mind that uh, this one is about 200 years old, yet this is one of the youngest pubs probably in Stanford. That's how old Stanford is, that's how beautiful, I said Stanford is so beautiful, but the buildings here are ridiculously old a lot of the time. So yeah, one of the, one of the youngest pubs in Stanford, still 200 years old. And it's a great pub, this again, a, a wonderful place. So it's, uh, it's family run, uh, landlord, uh, granddad. So they, they've been here for all, about a year now. Lovely fire going, which always makes it, uh, always makes it homely there, cozier uh, and, and, and feel, feel like these lads are on a pub crawl as well. So probably bump into them at some point later on. Four ales to choose from in here. And for me, one with the, uh, the Falcon, which is, I've never tried that one before, so we've got that up on the untapped uh, and a nice little dining area out to, uh, out to this side as well. These old stone walls are absolutely gorgeous, but yeah, what a great way to uh, kick off Stamford. Super little start uh, for Stamford, absolutely love it. I, said, I think we, we just do love it around here, it's such a nice place in general. So we're gonna hit the outskirts one something. So we've got a few of these we didn't get done last time, which brings us to stop two of being the Hurdler, uh, and it's up here. Uh, in amongst the houses, like literally in amongst the uh, the housing area or up the back of Stamford. So stop two, the hurdler. Yeah, this one's the, the local's local uh, of the place. It's, it's nice and friendly, it's nice and cheap. Um, decent sized uh, pub, uh, proper community pub really uh, up here, which is not something that you found in, in Stamford uh, thus far with the other bits that we've done. So yeah, proper community local. Nice old uh, wooden bar uh, and stuff. Got it? Yeah, proper community local like place. I like them. So, uh, two from Stanford done that we've not done before. Third one that we've not done is this. The Green Man. Yeah, it's called The Green Man. It is a lovely looking, lovely old fronted pub again, as per usual. This one is definitely uh, a nice old one, isn't it? Look at the stonework on it again. Actually, this wall, even the wall at the corner, so that's decaying. At the third. That's how old some of the buildings around Stanford are. So, looking forward to getting into The Green Man that we didn't do last time either. Stop three for Stanford. Stop four for the day. 
God, my count is so bad. So, a little bit of history of this one. 1782. This one has uh, stood there. It's a form of coaching in. Uh, you can tell it's a form of coaching. It's, it's got a beautiful layer. Uh, I'll take you for a wander around uh, look. And apparently, it has got a massive beer garden to the rear. So, let's go show you that as well. If we start in here, beautiful fire now going. So, plenty of choices on. So, I'll actually Camden, uh, Camden Brewery always hells and, and paler are ones that I do like. Plenty of ale choice, anything up to eight at any one time. I've gone for the Baker's Dozen Electric Landlady, which brings up beer number 998 for me on Untapped so far. But yeah, look at some of the, uh, the stone walls and things in here. Just a, just a gorgeous thing. So it has only just opened here. I opened at 2.30 and we're in here at three. So that is, again, why uh, it looks as though it's quiet, but just wow, like walking through the, uh, seeing the walls and, and things like that. But yeah, nice beer garden space out to the rear as well. Yeah, I mean the walls, everything about this place, Stanford in general, these, uh, these old stone brick wall and things like that are just exquisite to look at uh, and be around. So that is the green man for you. One other thing I forgot to tell you, so they've got three uh, letting rooms uh, upstairs uh, here as well. So you can actually uh, stay here. Uh, rumoured, rumoured to be haunted. Friendly ghost apparently, like friendly ghost. So if you do ever stay at the green man and you have a ghostly experience, please let us know because I'd love to hear about it. We'll stay here one night and see. You know I love a cellar tour, so I've come down. So this is something I've never seen before. This is a, a gimmick called Beer Saver. So this allows you pubs, so pub, pub landlords that are watching this, this Beer Saver, uh, get in touch with us and we'll, we'll see what we can do with it. This means you don't have to clean your lines for how long, 12 weeks? Uh, we, on average, eight to 12 weeks. Eight to 12 weeks. This, this, this gimmick here with these widgets on the thing is actually that would save you a fortune. But look how beautiful this cellar is down here. Clean, tidy, stunning. But this is the, this is the main bit I wanted to show you. Look at the, uh, the runner down. Oh, sorry. Look at the, now you're all right. Look at, the, uh, look at this runner down. This is a proper old school, wonderful looking cellar in it. I absolutely love seeing things like this. So they come down to the thing, run along here, and then down there into the cellar. What a great thing to see. Lovely chap uh, running the green man, George, he, he owns the building, it's a, it's a proper free house so he can have whatever he likes on in there uh, and he's got a really good range. So yeah, very, and that cellar was uh, that impressive, so that beer saver, got, uh, we've got to do some research on that people, we've got to find out if that can save people, imagine like not having to clean your lines once a week, so you're saving maybe four pints per line per week, that's a game changer for pubs, if that really does do what it says on the tin. Uh, and, and keeps it clean and, and means you don't have to do, you, you're going to have to do that every 12 weeks. That is saving pubs hundreds and hundreds of pounds a month. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna look into that. But next one to do then brings us up uh, again on the, we're going around the outskirts to get these done. And this one is called the Danish Invader. Looks like this that says splattering of snow uh, on, the, on the thing. This one feels like a, another community local. I absolutely love that window. That window is quality. Uh, loads of different colors and stuff in it. Wonderful uh, statue of a, obviously a Danish invader up there as well. So that is up next. I do love, like I said, you can tell when we got outside this is going to be another community local, a like proper sense of community spirit, proper mix of people in here. Like uh, there are there are children in here with, with parents. I was just finished school and stuff like that. Loads of a good mix of, uh, of age range of people. Here. The people that run this place are lovely, and you can just tell that this is a real heartbeat. For the, uh, for the community space that it's in. But have a look around here. So look at this, proper community a local. But here we've, here we've got on, so you've got some good ale choice on. That Citra from Oakham is an absolute belter. I absolutely love it. Neck oil and stuff on it. So it's a Stonegate pub, which I would not have expected, but coming over, thanks, Les. Coming over to, so these are, these are apparently these were the original light fittings uh, and stuff in here. Paul, so as you can see, it's a proper thriving community local. And apparently if we go out to the back, so I've been told there is a super beer garden space, which there is. Look at that. Yeah, it's great. It's a, it's a proper, uh, even further I'm being told, even further. No, there is, it, it goes on and on and on. And look at that. So I can imagine this for when you, when you <laughs> kids, uh, kids play area and stuff as well around here. This is, yeah, you imagine this during the Euros or the World Cup or something like that, watching the football out here on a, on a screen like that in the, uh, in the corner, quite brilliant. Yeah, I love, I love a community local. Like, th these, these pubs are like the heartbeat of the local towns and things that we go to a lot of the time. So it's great to see it so busy. It's great, everyone, everyone's really friendly. It's just a fantastic place. Well played, Danish uh, invader, crusader, invader, crusader. I don't know, uh, invader. Well played, Danish invader. 
I didn't stop drinking. We're getting a guided tour again now as well. Oh, hi, sweet doggy. Sorry, I got distracted by a dog, as per usual. But yeah, so this is the uh, the function room, the Saxon room, so this is just Saxon and it is, for and it's set up for a, a Christmas dinner tonight. Wow, what, a, what an absolutely beautiful room. Good. The food does smell <laughs> good, yeah. Holly's hungry, as you can tell. What an absolutely beautiful room, though. So it's the second room, yeah. It's a massive, great pub. Even this, uh, even this little, uh, this little, <laughs> little balcony type bit up here is, is impressive, isn't it? The beams. Yeah, I mean this is this is a this is a proper community local, but it looks like this. You can't you can't go wrong, can you? It looks it literally looks like an old an old ship. It's been it's been very well thought out, very well done. This very very well, done. and yeah, that food does smell phenomenal. Right, checked into our guest house. Car dropped off. After a shivery walk up to the Bull and Swan, uh, which again another one we didn't get done last time, and. Uh, Looks like this. Again, all the buildings, like I said, I sound like a, a stuck record though, with all the buildings, like, all the buildings that look like that. It's just absolutely beautiful. Vote is the best town pub in the UK 2024. <laughs> AA, AA four star uh, rating on there, which is uh, something pretty spectacular. Right? I mean, it looks absolutely lovely. Just looking through the windows at all, doesn't it? It does look quite spectacular but we will uh we'll go in we'll have a proper look and we'll show you inside so dating back to the 1600s uh former gentleman's club which is obviously bought in this horizons uh, it is absolutely stunning in here and i do mean stunning hey i've got the uh, the 1050 which brings up my 999th uh, new beer since the 30th of november but just look at how absolutely exquisite looking this place is it is absolutely beautiful uh, the whole place is yeah so obviously a fully functioning hotel uh, and things still that just looks absolutely incredible what an amazing looking little pub phenomenal place we might as well, uh, might as well show the beer garden here as well because i can imagine it's just as impressive as, uh, as the rest of the place <laughs> i mean this this is a garden area this is a garden space like Wow, it's just obviously I should imagine that opens the bar in the uh, summer, but yeah, this is a garden space. Ah, <laughs> oh, how the other half live, eh? What an absolute beautiful place. Yeah, just, just pretty incredible. And you can't walk down the street in Stamford without finding something else that is just beautiful. So. Walking down towards the George Hotel now, which is our next stop that we've not done before either. Um, and I've, we've seen pictures of it. <laughs> I'm already highly anticipating how amazing this is going to look. We're just walking down the street. Look, this is the street we're walking down. Buildings that look like that. Churches that are just magnificent structures. It's just, it's such a beautiful town. It's kind of in a, a little, a little mini York style type vibe i suppose that's yeah go with that a little mini york type vibe for the for the beauty and the magic of the place that's just how it how it sort of feels as you walk through it so yeah if you've never been to stanford it's literally it's just outside peterborough so it's very easy to get to it's just a minute off the a1 if you come down that way so it's very much somewhere that we would recommend people coming to have a look at because we loved it last time we we're here we're having a great day today seeing bits of it that we didn't see last time as well this on the on the left we see that green sign is our next port of call so that is the george the george hotel i'm assuming this bit here is the bar uh hopefully so a bar area and yeah i can't wait to get inside this because it looks magnificent so the george is up next before i get you inside while i'm actually reading it so as you can see on here, I'm just gonna just gonna read part of this. So the main block of the hotel was erected in 1597 by Lord Burley, uh, and Burley uh, they own most of Stamford still to this day. Burley House is just up the road. Uh, <laughs> incredible. 1597. I don't even know where to start with how beautiful this uh, this bar room was own is. So several good ale choices uh, as well, and this brings up my thousandth different beer. In 206 days it's taken me to get to a thousand beers on untapped. 
uh, Encore from uh, Lacons. Here it is, beer number 1000. And it's good. But here you are. Uh, Brain Saw Brewery, I saw a minute ago. Just that one off. Lacons Adnams. And that is beer number 1000. Encore. Encore and foie. Yeah, this is just this is just the, the little York bar it's called in here, but one incredible looking place. Look at that. Uh, I've got to take you in the London room as well just to show you this. Like this is a this is a dining setup for, for what's in here. Look at that room. The fireplace. I mean that is imagine having dinner dining in in a place like that. It's honestly it's quite exceptional, isn't it? The stone floor is like everything. It's quite exceptional. It really is. Wow. Let's carry on the walk into into the actual town centre of Stamford. So we're walking across the uh, the old bridge now, and it's just just this little this little stone bridge. But just look, yeah. <laughs> look at how amazing this place looks. So uh, and yet another absolutely phenomenal, stunning church in front of you. This town is. Considering where it is, as I said, a minute, a minute off the A1, um, just, just, just north of Peterborough, which is not the nicest of uh, cities that you, you'll find, Peterborough, I mean, it's all right, there's nothing wrong with it. But yeah, to, to find a place like this, sort of tucked away and hidden where it is in, in the country, just amazing. So in the, in the, where that church is, there, our next port of call is that, the Copper Room. Uh, I'm literally just now stood on the road to try and get that into the copper room we didn't do last time either so that is up next for us i absolutely love it in here so it's a it's a little like it's a cocktail bar there's also got some good craft beer on and, and everything else. it's got such a good vibe it's just a wicked looking little place honestly like every everybody we've met in here has been absolutely fantastic have a look at some of this so oh, look at this like honestly there are some absolutely so i went for the uh, the baker's dozen undertone uh, in here and i am um, massively impressed but these guys have been knocking out cocktails as we've been in here and they've been absolutely phenomenal. Collie's gone for her usual porn star martini. But just look at this place. It is, it's just quality. The whole thing is quality. Apparently there is another, uh, that jukebox is wonderful, but it's another room down here uh, as well. It's like a completely separate bit that people pack into. So it's like your own separate little private thing. Don't mind me. That's what it looks like. It's quality, isn't it? So that is how amazing this place is. So for a little cocktail bar with craft beer and everything else on offer. What a cool place. Copper room, man. Absolutely loved it. Blends the lines between a great cocktail bar, great craft beer offering, great people running it. Just, it's just phenomenal. And I know, I, I, honestly, I feel like I am a broken record because I'm just, I'm, I'm banging on to you about how good Stanford is, but it really is. It really, really is. Stanford is so good. We loved it the first time we came. But honestly, today, what we've seen, what we're seeing so far, we've, we've been, we've, we've seen some great community pubs. We've seen some bits that we didn't get to see last time. We met some, a load of great people. It's just, it's one of these brilliant little towns that just, it's, 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 it's an anomaly uh, for, for what you'll find here. But next up then, so what round the corner, there's a wonderful smell of fish and chips or something coming from around here as well, but what round the corner, to Allaire, uh, the slanted door. So we did the London Inn last time, which was amazing by the way. We probably will pop back in there tonight if we get time, but slanted door just there was one that we didn't get a chance to do last time. So let's get in there uh, and see what, what that bad boy's like. I, I can only imagine it being great. Look at the outside of it. Beautiful looking place that again, isn't it? Right, this place is absolutely beautiful. So it actually set out on four floors. So it's very narrow, a little place, but it's a la carte uh, menu and stuff, if you know what I'm saying. So down here, nibbles, uh, cocktails and nibbles. Good little beer lineup as well, though. but it is. It's a very, a very beautiful little place. And if you look at so four good choices on it. What you got? Asbox, Hofmeister, Hofmeister Helm for me. Nickel, great little place. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go upstairs because I'm far too lazy. But up here, yeah, cocktails and, uh, and nibbles uh, and everything like that. And a gorgeous looking little vibe. Great little ambiance uh, in the place. Uh, yeah, Hofmeister Hells. Oh, I quite like that. Great place. Up the stairs to see the, uh, the, the top floor, and it's just, it's just beautiful up here. So, restaurant here, restaurant type space uh, as well, and absolutely gorgeous little balcony. Imagine this, I see it's eight people out here, but what a beautiful little place. Is there, maybe have a cocktail, uh, enjoy yourself. 
yeah, the, the place is the place is beautiful. Glad we glad we stopped in and saw the slanted door. I, I yeah, really like the slanted door. But right, we're trying to work through the ones we've not ever done before, which brings us to it is uh, it's a little bit of a chain that we've done a few of before, but so it didn't get it didn't get visited last time. Uh, and someone did call us out and say, oh, you should have gone in Cozy Club. So we're going to do Cozy Club next. Which here it looks like this. So it's just on the corner of. So we've done the, uh, the Golden Fleece. That looks, uh, that's just had a refurb, the Golden Fleece, apparently. So we, we are going to pop back in there because it does look, even the outside, actually looks uh, an awful lot different than it did last time. But Cozy Club for us then is the next port of call. Right, out of the Cozy Club, right next door, I just showed you is the Golden Fleece, which is uh, just that, yeah, quite a refurb by the looks of things from the externals, anyway. So this will be our first revisit uh, pub of the night, because we have done it before, so we can't count it as a new one. But you know what, let's, uh, let's go in, let's see the refurb, let's show you around, uh, and then we're going to try and hit a few of the others that we've done already, uh, and then get to that Stanford Delight kebab shop, because literally the kebab is calling me. Uh, Golden Fleece then, like that, up next. Let's refurb it here, it does actually look pretty good it is I, I, is it anywhere else probably not i can't really work it out but it looks good so what looks like it's uh it's now a very nice looking booze isn't it i mean it was it was a good it was a good pub before that we, we quite liked anyway but the everard's beer so tiger really original but tiger and i went with this enigma i've got kids so yeah a very uh very nice looking, very good. Uh, they've definitely spent some money on the uh, on the old refurb and stuff in here. Most of what is left for Stanford for tonight we've done already and you will find it in the first Stanford video by searching that on our YouTube. So we're gonna try and cherry pick uh, a few of the ones that we absolutely loved uh, last time we were here. And there were loads, trust me, there were loads. But one that really stood out for us, Peyton & Co, uh, which is just over here. But I've got to show you this first. <laughs> Absolutely stunning place that is, isn't it? So that is literally on the on the square where we are now. Uh, it's just exquisite looking. So we can't from behind there. Everything about Stanford is beautiful, but that is particularly amazing. Little cocktail on the corner here we did last time. The Millstone, I think it's called, just on the left here we've done before. So we are gonna try not to get run over, which in Stanford is actually a, a, a real, uh, tough thing to do because the, the roads in here are far too busy for such a little town. But if we walk over here to so this beauty in front, that is Payton and Co. Uh, set on three three stories, and I just remember uh, we absolutely fell in love with this place last time we were here. So very glad to be revisiting that. Honestly, just look at it; in here. it's so beautiful. Honestly, so we loved it. You'll find it. You'll find a really good video, I'm sure, on the on the first time we we're here. But have a look around. Like. It's just, it's so good. Look at the, that's the beer, the beer choices up there. So I'm going for the Frisbee on the top right, round corner brewing. That's my wife headbutting the phone because she does that. Some cask uh, and other stuff, but it's just, a, it's just a beautiful looking place in general. It is a really good looking bar. Um, the, look, it's like dining space and things upstairs, but it is just, it's one of those places that I said we, we loved it last time we were here. We, I think it's wicked this time. Definitely, definitely, definitely come and see this. But it's so cold. But yeah, well glad to be back in Patna Cove. I think that's such a wicked one. Uh, one of the other absolutely amazing places we came to last time that we wanted to do then. It's called the King's Head, which is literally sat here in the shadow of uh, this uh, this amazing church uh, just there. So, King's Head, uh, just here, yeah, amazing shadow. Yeah. 1675, uh, this one stems back to, and I just remember it being such an absolutely uh, wonderful little, little back street. Look at this, sat on the back street in the shadow of something as grand as that. And it was just such a, a wicked little place uh, to come last time. So yeah, need to, need to get this in the video again for you today because you, you can't come to Stanford and not do the King's Head. Such a gorgeous little pub, right? Look at it. Look how quaint and how beautiful. Yeah, 1675 is the last. So there's uh, some craft cans on this menu just there. But keg, uh, cask, all sorts that you want in here, they've got it. It's a great little place. It's so cold. Right, another needs pubs, much like Payton & Co. Uh, so same guys that own this. And, and again, this is, uh, I think this is Stanford's oldest pub, from what I've been told, if I remember rightly. We did this the first time, so you can see in the, 
the first video, but uh, always someone trying to reverse over me when I'm uh, when I'm stood trying to speak to Bill. But this is called the Toby Norris, and it is honestly quite exquisite. Let me go over here for a minute where I'm out of the road. So turn you around. This, that here, that is the Toby Norris. So another need pubs. And yeah, it is, honestly, it's, it's breathtakingly beautiful inside as well. Uh, low seat, like corridor, it's just beautiful. So we'll take you in and show you this one again. Uh, and then, I think next door, there's one called the Wine Bar, we've never done. So we'll uh, see in a minute if we can get into there. Look busy, but we'll see if we can get into there. Toby Norris then is up next, and always one that has to drive like a you-know-what. You've got to come for a wonder with me around the uh, Toby Norris again, because it is one of those exquisite old pubs that if I don't show you around in full, I'm going to regret it, you're going to regret it. So, save for a wonder around the Toby Norris. Oh, was that? With uh, a sign that police station. Uh, this is Frank, by the way. Where is he? He's, he's under here. Look, this is Frank, and Frank is an absolute superstar. Frank is an absolute. There he is. Frank is an absolute superstar, but he's got food, and he's, he's more interested in food than I'd be more interested in food than me. He is an absolute superstar, but look at some of this. It is just one of. That's the It's just one of the most exquisite looking pubs you will probably see anywhere you go. So that's that's the that's the rear to the garden, heated garden. But look at this. Look at the look at the the whole the whole aesthetic of it is quite stunning. But this is Stanford all over, isn't it? So it's just an amazing looking pub. This up here, I remember going up here last time. So it's probably in the first Stanford video as well. We walked up these very narrow steps to show you the beauty of what the, uh, the rooms up here are like, including the, uh, the back sort of dining area room. Just beautiful, isn't it? The whole thing is just such a beautiful pub. You can't go wrong with, so yeah, need pubs, again, same as the, the Paint and Co. Winston Churchill, up on the wall. You can't go wrong with a place like this, you know. It's just amazing. It's just a, a beautiful place all around. You've got to come and see this. Some more sort of hidden... Yeah. You just find more hi hidden rooms the further through you go in, uh, in this. But look at that. That is an incredible room as well. But let's take you back down. Let's take you back down these stairs. They're not very even. They're, they're all... The stairs are steep. They're not overly even, but... I brought you back around past the bar as well, haven't we? So, we came from there. We're gonna go this way to this beautiful room as well. Uh, another absolutely look, exquisite looking old room. The bar, oh, where the magic happens, but what a good selection of ales and stuff on. Bolt maker, shine on. What an amazing selection of stuff we've got on. We've also got some good craft stuff on, on the taps, but it is quite the pub, isn't it? I think you'll agree. It's quite the pub. So that was, the stone floor is amazing. It's just a great place. Back to the start. Right, out of the Toby Norris, because will absolutely love it. But there are two more here that we hadn't done. So one is called Spirits of Stamford. Literally right next door to the Toby Norris that we've never done. So that is this, Spirits of Stamford. We need to obviously try and go and do that. And then the wine bar next door. So Spirits of Stamford then, up next. Uh, and we've got that before. Again, you've got to love it. Every, every now and again, you wander into a place and just like, you, you walk in as a stranger and you, and you, and you, you meet people and you, you leave out friends. This place is really To be honest, this place is absolutely great. Little cocktail bar, it's got a kind of beers and stuff on as well. But it's just, uh, it's just a wicked friendly place, all that. So this is where we are. Yeah. Give us a wave! Yeah! These people, look. These, these people are, honestly, these are, these are now, these are now my brothers and sisters for life! Honestly, this is Woo! this is such a cool. It's a great little cocktail bar. It says Guinness and Moretti and stuff on thing. It's just a way, a bit of ACDC playing. Yay! Can't go wrong with it, can you? It is a wicked, wicked, wicked little vibe. Love it. Do you want to see like how, how a real pub operates? Like that? Absolutely love it. Right next door, right next door is the wine bar. So we haven't done this, so we need to get we need to get the wine bar done. Uh, which say it right next door. Uh, but honestly, that 
Spirit, Spirit Stanford, absolutely wicked place. So the wine bar, this might be another bar as well. We'll, we'll see in a minute, but right, the wine bar then for us up next. TikTokers, hip hoppers, and those of you all around it, YouTube. I'm gonna stop trying to be like friend first because I can't pull it off. But yeah, this and a, 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 a wicked a little place. Like these sloping. My wife's just laughing at me now for trying to be like friend first. You know, I could wear a red cap and. Oh, this, no, I can't. I can't. Right, anyway, however, this beautiful little place again. So, we look at the sloping scene on that. So, Peroni and Guinness on. I'm going with a Peroni. Uh, my wife doesn't want to drink because of the state of it already. Yeah, there we are. Beautiful little place. The wine bar. Glad to tick it off. Another new one. And we'll see what the rest of the night brings. Great little place, the wine bar. Uh, right, so, yeah, the one next door, whatever it is, whether it be a bar or not a bar, it is closed. So, find me, Stanford Delight Kebab Shop. And I'll see you there in a minute. Found it. Here it is. Stanford Delight. Honestly, the best kebab I've ever had in my life. Right, uh, that's us. <laughs> Kebabs. On the way back to the hotel. Uh, they, they look amazing. Yeah, honestly, Stanford Delight. Best kebab shop we've ever been in in my life. Thanks for watching. I love you. We will see you tomorrow in Droitwich. I know nothing about Droitwich. But I'm looking forward to it. Hit subscribe.